Hey guys, Effie here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this watercolor card using our today's Cosmo 6x6 photopolymer stamp set. So let's get started since I'll be doing some embossing and watercoloring. I'm starting out with an A2 size watercolor paper panel, which I dusted with some anti-static powder first. Then I stamped the three Cosmos from the set onto the watercolor paper with some sticky embossing ink. After I stamped the three large blooms, I just went ahead and used an acrylic block to stamp some foliage around my Cosmos blooms. Now I do go back later to fill in some other empty areas with the foliage stamp, but I didn't know that I was going to do that. And I kind of didn't know where I was going with uh, this card at this point. I just wanted to fill up most of the negative space on my panel with these beautiful blooms and foliage first. So I used our rose gold embossing powder for all of the heat embossing. Once the heat embossing was complete, I just started doing some wet and wet watercoloring using Ken Oliver Color Burst. So I'm going to start off with this bloom first. I wet the Cosmos flower with clean water first with a medium tip water brush. Then I took a fine tip brush, dipped it into my color burst palette that I made uh, by myself. Then I used that fine tip brush to drop pigment into the inner petals of my bloom. And you could see that color kind of bloom out to the edges of the petals because of the design and the heat embossing and the water that's already on the paper. And then I just took a second brush and kind of started blending that color out just a little bit more. So once I was done with my base layer of peony color, I just added bits of gamboge to the wet blooms, just a little bit uh, in certain areas of the petals. And then after I was finished with the gamboge, I added a little bit of wisteria to the inner petals to give it a little bit of shading and contrast. I use a separate fine tip water brush for each color that I use. If you don't have multiple water brushes, you can use the same brush that you have and just uh, use a paper towel or um, if you have a jar of water next to you, you can, you know, rinse out your paintbrush or water brush uh, that way. But I have uh, separate water brushes and a piece of paper towel that you can't see on camera here that I use to clean off my brushes uh, when I need to. So I have separate brushes for each pigment as uh, I'm, I'm painting. And then I have a larger tip brush for my blending. Now, once I'm done coloring that first bloom, I'm going to apply the same watercoloring techniques to the two other blooms that are embossed on my panel. For my watercoloring today, I am using Canton XL 140 pound paper. Uh, this is pretty inexpensive watercolor paper and it works really, really well with Ken Oliver Color Burst. I use this uh, combination a lot in my card making. When I do some freehand watercoloring and create watercolor florals, I do use better quality paper, but for purposes of card making and when I'm combining with uh, using my color burst, I get really, really beautiful results when using this very inexpensive paper with the color burst. So, so I'm just going to continue coloring or watercoloring my panel using the three pigments, peony, gamboge, and wisteria. I had a different idea of this card as I was um, creating it. I originally wanted to heat emboss the sentiment on a strip and have that strip kind of go across the front of that panel, but I ended up just stamping the sentiment in the empty area at the top left hand corner just to make it easy uh, one layer card because whenever I make my floral cards, um, I always show my mom my card. She's my number one fan. And she's always telling me, why are you covering up these beautiful florals with the sentiment? You got to make sure that, you know, that these florals are showcased. Why are you covering it with the sentiment strip? So <laughs> that was that was on my mind as I was creating this card. So I was like, all right, let me not cover up these gorgeous uh, watercolored cosmos. Let me just stamp the sentiment in this empty area up top and kind of call it done there. So 
Uh, it's an easy one layered quick watercolor card. <laughs> so once I finished watercoloring my florals, I colored in the foliage using turquoise color burst. And we are almost done here. I actually stamped the sentiment now here using our plum wine dye ink. And I use my mini Misty to get uh, a really accurate uh, positioning. And then after I stamped the sentiment, there were some empty areas that were kind of bothering me. So I decided to stamp some additional foliage in those areas. I stamped them and I embossed using our rose gold embossing powder and then filled those in with a turquoise color burst. And I was more satisfied with the way this was looking, but there was some empty space next to the sentiment on the right side. And I was like, should I call this done? How can I fill in this area? I didn't have a leaf stamp that would fit in that area. So I kind of just set it aside for now. And I mounted that panel onto a top folding A2 base. And then I was like, oh, you know what? Let me add some of our glass slipper sequins to fill in some of those uh, negative spaces. So I used the mix pack of our glass slipper sequins, which range from four millimeter to 10 millimeter. And I just uh, applied them onto the face of my card in visual triangles. And the blooms and foliage looked less like they were floating around listlessly. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's project and video. If you haven't done so already, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel because I update it on a weekly basis. So thanks so much for stopping by guys. I really appreciate it. I will see you all next time. Bye.